Host Tucker Carlson apparently had a sort of medical emergency that has led to, in, in his words, causing him to rethink the opioid crisis. So apparently back on Monday morning, something happened that caused him to have emergency back surgery. He says it was one of the most traumatic things that's ever happened to me in my whole life ever. And he says that since he was treated with intravenous fentanyl and other powerful painkillers, he now understands America's opioid crisis in a deeper way. That absent any other details is plausible going through that could change your views. We're gonna evaluate the immediate evidence of whether that's happened or not. And we'll be watching for it in the future. But he says, I didn't sleep literally one second last night and I was on so many effing drugs. It was just like more drugs, more drugs. I didn't know that there was untreatable pain. He is a full grown adult and he didn't understand that there is some pain that even painkillers can't dull. It, you have to be really sheltered from the world to not understand that. But okay, he's trying to learn. He's trying to learn. Now he says he'll never take opioids again. Good, that's a sign of change. He says, I had this spirit of fear within me, which I don't have. I'm not bragging, I don't have it. And I think you can feel it. I don't have it. I think that's why I'm successful, because I'm just not afraid. I felt afraid just of like life or something. It's interesting. Okay, but last night I was like, oh, S, fear, just like anxiety. People who have anxiety, that's what I felt. And it was from those drugs. And they extinguish the spirit within you. And they make you feel like you're running away, you're hiding. It's so effing deep. I'm lying in bed, filthy with dog toys on my pillow, and it doesn't bother me. And I'm not that way. Now it's gonna get a little bit weirder, but so far, what do you think? Does he seem to have understood the human condition a bit more? No, this is a guy who during the Olympics can't watch the hurdles because he doesn't understand obstacles. He's like, I don't get it. I've never encountered one in my entire damn life. And the one time he does, he's just like, oh wow, obstacles are difficult. And he doesn't, and, and the idea that he doesn't have a spirit of fear, but he relies on it all the time, every day in every yeah. broadcast he does. All he does is stoke fear, whether he has or he's never had to have it because he's never encountered adversity. The yep. only time he encountered a modicum of adversity was when he got fired from a job or two because he got called out by someone who was right. But why would he fear that? He could never work a day in his life and be richer than you and I combined will ever be. So yeah, you don't have a spirit of fear because what could you possibly fear? Other than like weird dead face syndrome. But anyway, um, so he talked to his associates about this and he said, I said this to an associate and he had such a deep response. Okay, so here's the major piece of the evidence of what he's taking away from this. And it's it's being routed through his associate, but he's, he goes, that's why all the houses in Maine are unclean and have toys on the front lawn because the people are on fentanyl, they're on opioids and they've lost their dignity, their self-respect. The thing that makes you super uptight when you look at your house and you're like, ah, the shutters need painting. F, maybe you paint them or maybe you don't, but it bothers you because you have dignity. That's gone. So you're like, oh, there's a half chewed rawhide pill toy on my pillow. Okay, lie there with it. I don't live like that. Have you ever been to my house? We're not crazy, but we're orderly people because we have self respect. This, this does nothing to help anyone the way that he's doing this. I love it. It's like, oh, you know how I'm going to, like, houses in Maine are dirty. So, you oh. know, it's Chewbacca's a Wookiee. Like, this is this belittles people who have opioid addiction. This belittles all the people who, as a result of folks trying to find common sense legislation and paths to help those who do have addictions, but incidentally denies actual pain medication to people who need it. And sometimes opioids are unavailable to people because we don't, they're trying to find the right balance of it. Um, this is Tucker Carlson being like, Thinking he really understands people because he saw a movie about it, basically. Like this is not yeah. it. What you had, and then also folks who 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 feel actual pain that isn't biologically happening in their body because the way that they've been conditioned after the opioids got them through the actual pain is telling their body, no, you still need opioids, so you're in a lot of pain. All exactly. of these things are happening. None of them are a priority in terms of understanding them for Tucker Carlson. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.